All right, check, check, check. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Arcway, home of menswear and apparel. My name is Tulu from Toronto, Canada. So today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing a few products that I picked up for December. So for the winter time, picked up a few joints, guys. I picked up a few different things that you guys will be needing in your wardrobe. At the same time, I expanded my own, um, I expanded my own style, pizzazz. So I basically just enhanced my own look as well. Um, I want to experiment with my own style at the same time, push myself beyond my boundaries and just evolve as a person and in my style and my wardrobe. So a lot of these things will be interesting and at the same time, a lot of you guys may like these products. So a few things that you guys will be seeing within this episode will be some pants. we got some long sleeve shirts. Um, at the same time, we have exclusive pieces going on right now. we got some exclusive joints. Um, we got a book as well and we got some boots. So you guys already know what to do. So make sure you guys subscribe down below. Also drop a comment if you guys want to see more videos like this. So let's begin. Yet again, guys, if you guys are new to Arcway, make sure you guys do yourself a favor by subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you guys can stay updated to the latest content that I'll be dropping on this channel. So make sure you guys do that. Drop a comment down below of some things that you guys like in this video. At the same time, let's begin. Roll it. All right, cool. So the first thing I picked up was a pair of pants. Um, these are Carhartts right here. And the dope thing about these pants are that they have paint splats all over them. I personally like paint splats, um, something I always liked since I was a kid. I think it's just always been unique and it has a little, obviously it has texture, has flair to the style. And it's just a lot, it's pretty much, and it's different. I just like something that's different than the norm, uh, especially when you wear these. These to me are kind of like a staple piece. That's the great thing about these type of pants because once you start buying something that is different from anything you have, it pretty much stands out within your wardrobe and it stands out in your streets as well. So having these pair of pants are something that's quite iconic to me. I feel like I'm developing my own style when I wear these type of pants, but these right here are, are work utilitary pants. Um, did I say it right? Work, work, utility, uh, work utility pants. Um, yet again, these are Carhartts. I actually picked these up in Toronto at Bungalow. Um, it is in Kensington Market. So I picked these up for 30 bucks. So these are uh, paint splats all over them. You got black, you got black, you got white, you got a little bit of hints of yellow um, at the same time and brown too. But so for these paint splats, I did not create these paint splats, which I would love to do. But at the same time, I didn't do this. I actually bought them like this. So these were uh, real uh, painter's pants. So I got a question by his client recently and they said to me, uh, are you appropriating uh, painter's pants? And I said, yes, I am. So when it comes down to cargo pants, I usually size up in anything that I usually do. So for example, uh, typically my waist is about 30, 32. Um, for these pants, I went for a 34. And so it's a 34, 32 length. It is a loose fit. And the reason I go for a 32 is because if I'm going out to eat or whatnot, or I possibly gain weight, I don't want to feel bloated or just having that. I don't want to be on my last button, you know what I mean? Um, so that's why I usually wear a belt, kind of this strap up a little tighter there. But if not, uh, that's just what it is. So yeah, this is, this is the pair of pants. I really do like these a lot. Has multiple pockets, has um, different features to it. What I did with these pair of pants yet again, and you guys will see this with my other pair of pants that I'm actually wearing. So I'll, I'll show you guys like my outfit that I'm wearing as well. But what I did with these pair of pants, I went to my tailor. I got them slimmed at the at the, um, at the calf actually. So for me personally, I like my pair of pants that are slimmed. I kind of like, I like the loose fit. Don't get me wrong, I do like loose fit, but these were a little bit too wide for me. So I got my tailor to slim them in a little bit at the same time. And that's just my personal preference. Um, yet again, when it goes up towards the calf, you'll see it being a lot more baggy, but when it comes down to the bottom half of my knee, that's where it slims down a lot more. So for my next pair of pants, I actually picked these up at Value Village. Uh, these ones are actually really dope. Um, these were about 34 on the waist. Length was pretty much the same, about 32. Um, yet again, got them tapered. So one thing about this is I don't know what brand it is. So if you guys are wondering, I honestly don't know because sometimes when people donate, they actually rip out the tag just to indicate that they don't wanna show someone else that it is a quality brand or whatnot. 
but these fit like a glove and these are just amazing um, the reason why i say it's amazing is because of the texture the quality and the way you put it on and i mean the texture the quality and when you put it on it feels like it's a pair of sweatpants so it almost feels like a second layer of skin so these pair of pants are amazing to me um these ones are in like an olive green always been trying to i always have been trying to source something that was in an olive green found them and these are actually my favorite pair of pants just because of the comfortability and how loose they are so yet again these are actually some dope pair of pants you got two pockets on both sides um when it comes down to the waist they actually have a drawstring so you can actually uh, manually like tie it up around your waist if you don't want to use a belt i actually prefer using i actually personally prefer using a string a lot more when it comes down to my own cargos so these are actually a great pickup i got them for like 13 dollars at value village so if you're actually looking for cargos definitely check out your local thrift store you always find deals you just gotta search for them but at the same time if you go to places like the place i mentioned for my car hearts it was called bungalow um sometimes in your inner cities downtown you usually have places that kind of like source out certain brands and they actually sell those brands uh, specifically so make sure to check out those stores in your local town all right guys so for the next product is candles so this comes down to your apartment or your environment or wherever you're staying if you guys want to have how can i put this to you guys um i kind of use this reference point with my cologne uh you want to look as good as you smell uh that's just something that i go off of kind of my own philosophy from if someone sees you from a distance you want that person whatever it is that person to uh no whatever it is i meant to say like person to um have an image in the mind of what you could possibly smell like and that still plays a role in my mind when it comes down to my environment so when it comes down to my own apartment i do have two candles i want to present you guys with uh these are in my preference these are masculine candles uh is one is a tobacco scent let me just grab them right now first candle I grabbed was from Bloom and Prosper. This is the tobacco. Uh, this candle right here was going for about 16 bucks. Uh, I like this candle a lot because it's a big candle. At the same time, um, it's nice glass as well. And it's quite heavy when you put it on your counter and it's like a staple piece. So when I put that on my shelf, it just stands out um, at the same time when you have guests over or when you light it yourself. Um, it has a great aroma, it has a great smell. I burn this for about two hours, maybe less, but at the same time, it just fills up my space uh, as of where I'm staying. So it's a great smell. If you guys want to enhance your aura, your personality, definitely incorporate candles because it just changes your whole mood. Uh, at the same time, for me, it's kind of like a meditation thing where it's just a little bit calming and it just makes me more mellow than I am. <laughs> but uh, at the same time, this is tobacco smells great to be honest with you guys so check this out it's called bloom and prosper yet again this is tobacco and for my second candle i got one sec all right guys so for my second candle it is called leather bound um this is different for me personally because i don't i personally don't like leather a lot but even with like Tuscan leather by Tom Ford, that's something I'm trying to get into a little bit more. But the leather for me is a, it's a stepping stone for me personally. So, so it says tan leather blend with soft uh, suede musk. So yet again, this is, actually both of them are 15.3. Um, it says as a burn time of 56 hours. This is by DW Home. So check them out. I actually got this for 14 bucks. Um, at winners yet again so pick yourself up some candles man because candles yet again will enhance your own experience uh, of yourself at the same time when you have company over it just adds a little bit um, of a personality to your character too so get yourself into candles i got some good compliments from these as well and at the same time yeah let's move on to the next product so for my next product right here it is from uniqlo as you guys know i do like uniqlo a lot at the same time this product right here is very very simple it is a long sleeve uh, striped shirt for me personally this is actually my favorite piece the way it looks the way it stands out as a single at the same time as you collaborate it with your wardrobe has a great look to it it's uh iconic to me 
at the same time and you just look unique when you wear this so personally i like with layering this piece right here but yet again this is a long sleeve it is from uniqlo the quality is amazing guys honestly this is actually like a heavy long sleeve i haven't really felt a lot of shirts that felt quite heavy as this one but this one actually holds up um, this is actually something that you guys can purchase on their lot online um, i can actually source it out for you guys and you guys can check this out but honestly grab yourself something like this and if you guys are looking for something with navy and white or you can like um, have the reverse set of colors on this as well so grab yourself something like this because i'll show you guys how to style this and you guys won't be disappointed so for the next piece right here is a basic ovo sweatshirt so right here as you guys can see this is a large uh, the great thing about this is that it's very very simple i personally don't like big logos but at the same time if it's simple then i can gravitate towards that and i just like simplicity as a key point of my style but this yet yet again is a large um this was actually thrifted good quality at the same time it is heavy as well so this is something that i will wear in the winters and as it gets colder this is something that is great to wear when you layer up as well all right guys so for the next piece this piece is actually quite interesting i want you guys to let me know if you guys think this is real or not but this is a supreme jacket the thing i like about this jacket is that it's reflective and for me as a designer to someone who's going to be creating a brand in the future this is something that i really really do like about this jacket and at the same time it reminds me of uh, stone island a lot when it comes down to the reflective products and how they react to water within their jackets so i'm gonna show you guys this piece let me know if you guys think it's real or not but at the same time i looked up uh the value of this online like on grail and it went for like six thousand and it was like insane but here it is right here it is a reflective piece so it does react at nighttime so this is actually great for running um, so you got the supreme logo right on the back here um, I'll put it right here so you guys got the supreme logo right in the back and the same time in the front on the left hand side this right here is uh, let me see what size is this this right here is a medium honestly I think it's a I honestly think it's a small it's almost like a medium to small because I can't fit this. If I could fit this, I'll be wearing this every single day. Not every day, but I'll be wearing this a lot, a lot. But this right here, guys, if any of you guys are interested in this piece, just hit me up in the DM. Um, I'll sell it to you guys or whatnot. Um, yet again, I don't know if it's real or fake, but for what it is, hey man, you can work something out. But um, yet again, this is a piece I really do like. It's very, very simple. Get yourself a reflective jacket, guys, especially you guys into running or you guys into like outdoor sports or you guys want to have like iconic style. Definitely get something like this because this to me is fire. Fuego. All right, my amigos. So next thing here is I got um, scarves. So it's not really required, but if you guys want to enhance your own style as men, definitely incorporate a scarf because yet again, it's it's there's levels to this. There's level. There's levels to the game, baby. There's levels to the game. So so when you do add a scarf to your wardrobe, yet again, it just goes with your whole outfit. To be honest with you guys, it creates a demand of respect. So it just shows that you are a guy that puts things together and you are uh, considerate about how you present yourself. So definitely incorporate a scarf into your wardrobe. You'll definitely see the difference when you start wearing your outfits going out in public. So I got two different versions from Uniqlo. Um, these were actually on sale, so I had to grab like two of them. I got one in a forest green for $12.99 and the same one in the brown for $12.99. But yet again, these are the heat tech, heat tech edition and they will keep you warm. So these are my biggest investment so far. These are the Doc Martens, um, the, four, the 1460s. So these are the Doc Martens, the 1460s, mono black smooth. Um, the great thing about these shoes is that one, they're iconic at the same time. Um, they represent my hometown, the London in the house, UK. Um, but at the same time, I want to show you guys what they look like. I have them on my feet because I'm breaking them in uh, for today. At the same time, apparently it takes about two weeks to break them in. But when I first put these on, man, they were stiff. But um, over time, apparently it just gets easier to wear. So these are the pair of shoes right here. So these are actually a size 12. 
um, yet again, I'll be doing a breakdown video of this, but this right here is a great pickup. I personally like this a lot. Um, the insoles are, are amazing. Um, the gum bottoms are Michael Jackson bad. Um, you know, the insoles are nice and I'll let you guys know how it is um, within the review of the shoe. And I'll go into more detail about this. But at the same time, I'll give you guys like an update within a year and how they form to my feet. So my last final pickup would be this book. So this is like the history of Stone Island from the beginning to where they're at. And for me personally, um, I love this brand a lot. Uh, something about this brand for me back in Europe, just seeing it at the same time. Well, when I was a kid moving from Europe to back to, so when I was a kid moving from Europe to Canada, um, this was a brand that I seen from afar overseas and it's just something that I always uh, gravitated towards when it comes down to premium wear and premium uh, quality of clothing. Um, so this is kind of my aesthetic. This is my holy Bible when it comes down to streetwear. Um, for me personally, wanting to create a company, um, this is something I have in mind. This is like my reference point, my mentor. So this book is something that I'll be showing you guys, kind of like the breakdown of this and just show you guys page by page for the people that like the visuals of these books. Um, yet again, this brand is so sick to me. Um, the quality, the texture, the, how they take care of the products, the technology they use, um, how they source their products, um, the storyline, the creation, the design point, everything about this is just dope to me at the same time. Um, you never know what happens in the future, but uh, yeah. Yet again, guys, if you guys are new to Arcway, make sure you guys do yourself a favor by subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you guys can stay updated to the latest content that I'll be dropping on this channel. So make sure you guys do that. Drop a comment down below of some things that you guys like in this video. At the same time,